Welcome to BASF. We create chemistry. So it makes sense that we should familiarize you with the basic chemistry taught in our polyurethanes academy. We're going to simplify things a bit in this video and, at the same time, cover a lot of topics. So let's get started. First, let's introduce you to two of our leading characters, isocyanates, or iso, and resin. Let's talk about iso first. When we make ISO, we do so in very large quantities. For our purposes today, there are only a few types of ISOs. Pure MDIs and TDIs, that's their nicknames, form long and squiggly chemical structures. That's because they have fewer places to connect to. They are generally used to make flexible products like seat cushions, mattresses, and sealants. Polymeric MDIs have many more places to plug into, which creates more of a structure. They're generally used to make, you guessed it, rigid products like picnic coolers, foam insulation, and wood boards. Now when our customers make a resin, they create a custom formula of additives that include polyols, also supplied by BASF, which are the backbone of the mix. Polyols make the majority of the mix, kind of like flour is to a cake batter. Polyols determine the physical properties of the product like how soft or hard the product is. Catalysts. They control the speed of the chemical reaction and how quickly it cures. Surfactants determine the cell structure and influence the flow. Pigments determine the color. Flame retardants make it safer. Adhesion promoters make it stickier. And finally, blowing agents help determine the density and foaming action. At BASF, we're proud to supply raw materials that help our customers innovate and succeed. Our ISOs and polyols combine to make custom formulas for our customers. Custom formulas that produce unique products that are flexible, rigid, just the way end users like them. So, there you have it. The basics of polyurethanes from BASF. We create chemistry.